Nine and 50 to play in the third. 56. Nice. Here's Isaiah with a great anticipation. He's not going to get a shot. Doesn't force oh, it. Waits good. for Dumars who gets the bunny. That's why when you see one of your teammates going the length of the floor for a break, you always hustle down because you never know what's going to happen. Bird. Now McHale wide of the lane. Misfires. You know, I've never seen him take this many outside shots before. That three-pointer in game two did something to him. Pistons uh, running the other way. They get the easy hoop. Isaiah down the lane. Well, it's nice to see him get going now because in this game, he's had three shots blocked down the lane, but he continues to challenge the rim. Now you say, why is that a big issue here? It's a big issue because the big forward is leaving and double teaming Isaiah Thomas every time off the dribble in the lane. That forward position should be over, freeing himself up for an easy shot. Well, now the key is you got 21 seconds. Get a good shot. More important, if you don't get the good shot at the basket, get fouled. You want to keep it down into that 8-7 area. It's 70-61 right now. Final 10 seconds, third quarter. Rodman screening for Isaiah. Foul line, steps in, leans, nice. guns, got it. But six seconds to go here now. You cannot let your man beat you off the dribble. Isaiah taps it away from Ainge. Rodman to Isaiah. Just yes. before the horn, he hits. Still, Still three, three seconds, seconds up Still there. Seconds it's 70 65. Paxson from three quarter court hit the top of the square. And the Pistons are within five after three. They were down 14 at the intermission. It's 70 65. Celtics, the fourth quarter of game five coming up on the Pistons Playoff Basketball Network. Boston to Bird, who comes right back in the game. Bird to the baseline. Here's his fadeaway. It doesn't go. Sally rebounds for Isaiah. Nice. Way up for Dumars. Great look. Dumars hits it. Joe hanging they in the air near the goal. Cuts it to one. You get, you get it out right now. They're catching Boston trying to get on the offensive board. In the last four minutes, nice. Detroit 11-2. Isaiah the from guy the wing, fires it, it falls. on fire. <laughs> How many for Isaiah now? 17. Nine and a half left. Pistons up three over the Celtics in Boston. Sally screens Ainge for Isaiah, who drains it left wing. Make it 75, 70, 77, 77. Pistons and Celtics in Boston. Isaiah deep on the wing, turns, set, scores over Ainge. 79-77. Dennis Johnson, top of the key. Swings it left corner range. Rainbows, no. McHale taps, no. Rodman kept it alive for Sally. Pistons on the run. Three on, Three on two. two. Nice. Nice touch from Rodman to Isaiah, who lays it in. Pistons by four now. 81-77. 81-80 now. Pistons by one. This is a clear out now. Isaiah has it against Dane. Got it line, turn and gun, goes! Look, I don't know what's going to happen, but Isaiah Thomas has been absolutely magnificent. Pistons get it back. They're still down one. 2.37 to play. Isaiah over Dennis Johnson with the gun. It goes again! By Sally slipping that pick and roll that time, both defensive guys hesitated, opening up that shot for Isaiah. A minute and 44 left. Pistons by four. Celtics with it. Ains looking for Bird, finds him against Sally. On the baseline, left-hander short. Sally Big forces it, cradles it. Pistons Big have rebound. the Celtics in trouble with a minute and a half left. They've got to be careful, but not overly cautious. See, the next foul by the Celtics is the penalty. So Detroit's in good position. Now, you don't want to take any crazy shots. Adrian Danley, give and go to Isaiah. Isaiah yes. gets it back, gets it up, gets it down. Great play. 100 to 94. Hey, give Danley credit. He read that double team and delivered a pass. Outside Lohas. You leave it out there for Ains. Got it behind him. Bird picks it up. We're in the final five seconds. Lohas deep left. Misfires on a triple. Lambeer there rebounds it, it. And as he grabs the rebound, the Pistons grab game five. And they grab the home court advantage back from the Boston Celtics. Our final score here on the parquet floor, where the Pistons have won twice in a week. The Pistons 102, the Celtics 96. I'll tell you what, Hubie, the Celtics now have something to think about, but I don't know if the home court means anything either way in this series. Yeah, you're right. Coming into this side right now, John Sally was 6 for 13 on the line, a 46% foul shooter, but he goes and he knocks him down.